Okay guys, hi and welcome to my Wonder World haul. Today we're going to compare four lenses from Canon. So all the movies I made, like recordings, all the pictures that I made has been made with the EOS 77D body, also from Canon. And I use this camera to explain everything to you. This is my old camera, the 450D. But let's go. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to talk about the 50 millimeters. It's a classic design and a prime lens it's really small and fast it isn't that heavy so it's quite light it's really good to capture moments in pictures or also for like filming to make a little reportage or something like that this lens has like precise and silent focus on certain SLRS cameras and uh, the, the the lens is also featured with an optimized coating um, to reduce like flare and ghostings. So I think this lens gets like a 9 out of 10 for me because I really like it. And it's really good to take portrait pictures with it. Usually I use it like in detail pictures just for making like... Mm, do I have something in here? Like, like if I want to shoot like this object, these are little tiny shoots from Holland, um, the Netherlands, excuse me, then I probably would use this camera because it really focuses on the things that I want to see, like even on the little scription Holland. So I would use this lens really often for like portraits or detail photographing. The second lens is the 18-35mm, it's the one that I'm recording with, with right now. It's an all-around zoom lens with the STM technology, uh, technology which provides like smooth and quiet autofocus auto for movies and the dynamic image stabilizer allows like flicker free uh, video recordings. Also, it's like a really compact lens. You can use it for a lot of things. You can use it like for nature uh, photography, city photography, um, also for portraits. So the 1835 has a fast autofocus. Uh, it quickly focuses on subjects. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> so if you're looking for a camera to like vlog or something like that, it really is a good, did I say camera? I mean lens. <laughs> Uh, it's a really good lens uh, because it focuses really quickly on like uh, faces of humans, people. A good one if you always want to be in the center of your video and if you speak a lot to the camera, it's a really good lens for you to just always be focused and the, the subjects around you to be like a little bit blurry but still recognizable. So this is a good lens for you guys. Go to number three. Number three is the 18. 55, which I have on my older camera, it's this lens. It's also an all-round zoom lens for standard photography, so um, probably for a lot of things, um, but I need to say that I'm more happy with like the 1835, which is a little bit similar, but has, a, um, has more like autofocus and stuff like that, which this camera, this lens doesn't have, so I'm more of a team player for the 1835. This lens has like a four-stop image stabilizer, which which provides great performance in low light conditions. Um, it can be really um, like good if you are in low light. I would probably recommend this lens. Um, also, it has a high quality standard zoom, which is suitable for like all-around photography. 
um, but I think I said that previously I'm not sure of it also if you want to do like close-ups with this lens it can go from a distance of only 25 centimeters so you can be 25 centimeters from your object that you want in close-up and you can already take a close-up picture of it which is pretty handy so this camera I would give it like a 6 or 7 out of 10 um, it's a good lens but as I said before I really prefer the 1835 now it's one of our newest lenses I think this was also the most expensive one the best one that I have is a 10 18 millimeters um, this is probably like the second most used lens from us I, I think um, we, 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 we switch a lot <laughs> during our photographs um, we really choose like different uh, lenses throughout all our explores, adventures, travels and stuff like that. The 10-18mm is a wide angle lens which we use for urbex photography. Um, I will put a link down below for that channel also. Um, so it's a wide angle lens, we use it a lot for urbex photography because if you go into a corner of a room you have like a really wide angle as the word says um, to take a picture and then you have like the whole room so I'm now in a corner of our room if I would take a picture right now I would have like from the door to this side I would have a pretty good view of our whole room in the picture um, so it's really ideal for traveling also, this has the four-stop opti optical <laughs> image stabilizer as well for the low light photos and um, it also more stabilized images. This lens is really compact and it's a lightweighted um, lens. This is a really good lens for travel photography and I would give this lens like a 8.5 out of 10, maybe a 9, I'm not sure. My favorite from now because we bought them like a month ago I guess is the 1835 millimeters and also the 50 millimeters is my favorite one um, this as I said before I use a lot for like close-ups details um, portrait photographies and like our new lens we use for so many things we use it for like in rooms portraits um, landscapes we use it for really different things <laughs> and also we use it for vlogging as you can see because I'm recording it with it right now okay right now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the difference between the four lenses when you record with it and when you take pictures so we were on like this um, place where there was like a nice church in front of us and also it was sunset so it was a pretty nice view and we took like a few, a few recordings like four recordings from each lens so you can see the difference we zoomed in and we zoomed out um, because there's a huge difference on each of and every one of them um, and also we took pictures to show you the difference between the pictures we put our camera on the stative um, so we didn't move any time we just stood there took photos and we switched the lenses and that was the only thing that has changed the lenses
okay guys so thanks for watching i hope you guys liked it if you liked it give it a thumbs up put on the notification bell and also subscribe to my channel um, if you want to see more things like this let me know in the comments or if you want to see other stuff you can also react in the comments which you want to see so i hope you like it and see you next time bye